So Sean Duffy, co-host of The Bottom Line on Fox Business and former Wisconsin congressman, uh, joins me now. You know, just moments ago, I mentioned the fact that there is anti-Semitism all over this country, but especially at these universities, these university presidents that have been apologizing some 48, 72 hours after making extremely offensive remarks. You've got Kamala Harris in the White House, who believes that the president needs to come out in support of Palestinians, which sort of ignores the idea that, you know, the war is not against civilians, it's against Hamas. What is wrong with this country? With it come, when it comes to anti-Semitism? Well, so Julie, we're seeing the anti-Semitism on college campuses, and, and it's uh, shown a spotlight on what's happening on college campuses. But that's not the only problem. These are little commie camps where we're teaching young, uh, young minds to be little communist activists across the country, and our federal government, our state governments fund it. So not just by not taxing their endowments, but we guarantee loans for kids to go to these colleges. And oftentimes, Guys like Joe Biden are trying to pay back those loans or forgive those loans to students. And why we would fund institutions that undermine the values and morals that we hold in this country, they also undermine our Constitution, free speech, they're anti-conservative, they're anti-everything uh, anti that this yeah. country was based on. I think we have to have a, a re-look at what's happening at these institutions and rethink how we fund them and whether they have to be completely gutted um, and, and remade to, to make sure we educate instead of indoctrinate the young minds of America. And that's not what's happening right now. And yes, anti-Semitism, it's horrific, but it goes much deeper than that. And it's a much bigger problem that if we're going to have a strong um, country with patriotic Americans mm -hmm. who love this country, can recognize what's gone wrong, but also the beauty of what we've created here, you got to have institutions that actually teach it. And yes. you don't have that with communist professors on college yeah. campuses. And it, it, you, that, that's exactly it. You hit the nail on the head. I mean, the messaging comes from the top. And we're not just talking about college presidents, university presidents. We're talking about the White House mm -hmm. and the messaging that comes from there. And when we hear today about the vice president, who's now kind of at, at a sort of crossroads with the president regarding, you know, our lack of support for uh, Gaza and, and our and our I, I support for an ally what? in this war. You're like, what are you talking about? Where are exactly where are we in this country? And again, it's a really good point, Julie. So it's not just the top, which you say Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, or, yeah. or college presidents. You have the staff of the White House, but you have professors and administrators throughout universities that all share these same opinions and beliefs. Right. And I think a lot of Americans are waking up today to go. What has happened on American college campuses? I didn't actually know this was happening. Mm -hmm. Now, you and I know, because um, if, you, if you pay attention to what happens to conservatives on campus, you would understand what's been taking place over the last couple sure. of decades. Yep. But most people haven't. And I I'm not surprised. But again, this is a point where this country can come together to go, it's time we fix it. Yeah, we don't tolerate this in America. Yeah. And we're going to we're going to come together to have solutions. And money speaks, Julie. Yep. Take money away. Take the gifts away. Take the tax breaks away. Right. And you'll see significant changes on campuses. Yeah. And fake apologies. You'll see that as well. Um, yes, critics exactly. scorched uh, First Lady Jill Biden on social media uh, over this bizarre Christmas video she posted. Watch this. <laughs> I actually kind of want to keep watching this. I mean, it is sort of like a clown show, but um, one user called it cringeworthy and dystopian. Another with Disney Presents, Clockwork Orange. Ah, that was a good movie. One more, how utterly tacky, tasteless, and anti-Christmas. Well, there's a new opinion piece headline, Biden White House Christmas video is missing the reason for the season. Fox News also learned that the New York City dance company promotes defunding the police and abolishing prison, uh, prison pensions on its website prisons. Uh, and prisons rather sorry little typo there I had to figure that one out it also urges people to join their local Black Lives Matter chapter do they not do a background check on these people before they actually promote them or do they promote them knowing that they've got these very leftist and offensive uh, opinions and and beliefs I have to believe that they actually vetted this dance, uh, this dance company. Right. And You're not allowed the White in the White House, House without a background check. Right. 
Of course. So they come on. They, they listen, they want white people to check their privilege, support Black Lives Matter, defund police and defund prisons. This is a radical group. And by the way, I love Christmas. Um, I'm not a big Nutcracker fan. I guess this is a take on the Nutcracker, but I don't see the Christmas uh, theme of this. I, no. I do believe it misses the, uh, the, the, the theme of the season, which is the birth of Christ. Um, and uh, I don't get this. Uh, and she, you know, the first lady should be excoriated for putting this out there. And I think she's a little bit surprised. Like, why aren't more people thrilled with this, this with this tap dancing through the White House? Um, uh, and I'm like, again, I don't get it. I like I like a manger. I like some Christmas trees. I like a little music. That works for me, Julie. Not this garbage. I just watched the Nutcracker, and I happen to be a huge fan. And I don't see Clara, and I don't know who the <laughs> heck that man is with the the hat with the flowers on top. I, that is not a character in the Nutcracker. <laughs> I don't know who he is. Or they. I'm not really sure. I, no, that's right. Get it right. That, them or they. I'm not yeah. quite sure either, Julie. I can't figure that one out. <laughs> All right. Sean Duffy, Another great to segment. see you. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.